Hello and welcome back to our C++ Primer course, a C++ for beginners course to help you get started in Unreal Engine. In this episode, we'll be looking at the for loop, how to iterate through the for loop and what it all means. But if you've used for loops in other program languages, again, very familiar to you, it shouldn't be an issue at all. So let's get started. Now, another popular loop that you could be using is a for loop. So let's just clear this code out again and put in something else in here instead. So a for loop is indicated by the keyword for, and you put in brackets here three parts to it. The first part is the initialization. This is what's executed first, and usually what we're doing in here is we are set up the control for our for loop. So this is typically an int. So we do an int, and we'll do uh, we'll just call it uh, i. Okay. Then you put a semicolon in. The next bit is the condition. So this is going to loop whilst this condition is true. Okay, so I'm going to do i is less than 5. Semicolon. And the third part of this is going to happen after uh, after each loop, what's it going to do? And it's usually here that you have an incrementer, which basically increases the loop count. So uh, it can eventually end. So here we're going to do i plus plus. Plus plus is an incrementer, just means add one to it. You can also subtract one by going minus minus. Same 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 sort of deal. So in this for loop, we got i be initialized with an as an integer. Then we're going to check and do the loop whilst i is less than five, and i is plus plus. So we now put the statements of our code inside code brackets as per usual. And in here we're going to do c out, and we're going to put in uh, number. Uh, we'll actually, let's uh, do loop number and I'll put in ooh, hello the value of i. So I'm going to use i as part of the actual thing as well. So loop number i, new line, uh, and then we'll do a new line. And it ends the statement. And we'll leave it like that. Okay, so this should go round five times, incrementing this value. Oh, sorry, uh, i, we need to e e define it as equal to uh, zero. So this will do it six times. No, five times, sorry. Um, so yeah, when you initialize it, I forgot, you have to also assign it. There we go. So hit play. And up here, we can now see loop number zero, one, two, three, four. Five times. And if I were to change the int here to start at three, you'll see it only prints three and four. Okay. So for loops pretty useful in this regard. We can do a lot of things with those. And they can be, you can also have nested for loops where you put for loops inside of for loops to get in more interesting results. So for example, I could do something like uh, this. So if I'm gonna go and do another for loop, int j equals zero, make i equals three, zero again. <clears throat> so we call on j is less than five j plus plus new line okay and then i'm going to print out here not this c out here we're going to delete that and i'll put a c out inside the nested for loop so the first loop is going to go around with i equals zero and do i equals zero then j equals zero one two three four five and then go to i equals one j one two three four five so to demonstrate that we're going to do c out i equals and then i'm going to put in i and then we're going to put in uh another couple of spaces oh. and put in oh, j equals J. Oh, a new line. Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot to put in the. There we go. I think it made it a bit easier to read. So, hopefully, what you're seeing here is going to see the iteration of I and J working together. So, we've got a nested for loop going down. And you can see we've got I equals zero, first of all, getting done, then zero, one, two, three, four. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
0134 and 0134. So you can do really cool, interesting things with a nested for loop as well. And that can go all the way down. You can do quite a few of them together, but be aware, do too many, you're going to have some issues, but you should be okay. And there you go, we've now got the for loop covered. In next episode, we're going to be covering the switch statement. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.